Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for our fall release hop. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's brand new Gnome Dyes Fall add-ons, their Happy Fall Gnome stamp set and their Fall Candies grid style stamp set along with our Farm Fence dies, our Banner dies, our Mini Tag dies 3, our Mushroom dies, our gnome dies, and our mushroom house die. And I did put, go ahead and put that gnome together on the release and review video, so you can check that out there. So this is a piece of g stock Tindalo cardstock um, from cutcardstock.com. That's 4.25 by 11, scored at 5.5 inches to give you a vertical A2 size card. And then now I'm adding a piece of white uh, solar crest cardstock to the inside. I think it's 65 pound from Nina. Um, at four, four and five and a quarter inches, just to give you a place to write. And now this is a slice, a one inch slice of paper from the pumpkin spice six inch pad. Um, and I'm just gonna add that to the inside of the card with my ATG tape again. There we go. And then I will cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors. There we go. I really like this cardstock. It has like a wood grain on it. It's really nice. Now I'm going to add, this is the sentiment. Um, for on the inside, um, cutest our cutest gnome in the patch, and that is on Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock, and I cut that out with a mini tag dies three, and I'm just going to cut the overhang off. All my die cutting today was done with my Gemini machine as per usual. Now this is a three inch slice of paper from Doodlebug's Rainbow Petite Prints in gingham linen, and I'm just adding that to the center of that card from top to bottom, and I will cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors using my ATG tape, as you could see, uh, working on my Stampin' Up! pad as per usual. There we go. I love that card base. Isn't that nice with the card with the um, wood grain? Now, this is a piece of green cardstock from Doodlebug. I don't know the name, and I cut it using the mushroom dies, but I used the grassy hill. Now, in retrospect, it doesn't really show a lot, but you know, I was going for a scene, so what are you gonna do? So now I'm going to cut off the overhang here with a pair of scissors. And of course that ATG tape is sticking to my scissors as per usual, right? So I'm just going to trim that all off. And now I'm putting together the fence. So I cut that out of the same g uh, stock Tindalo cardstock. And um, it has, you know, like I said, it has that wood grain and it's nice and thick. So it gives a really nice presence on the card, I think. So I'm just going to layer this up. Now you could have ink blended on the edges of this, but I just left it as is. I think it looks great. There we are. Weighting it down with an acrylic block. Now I'm going to put together some other stuff. So this is a gourd uh, from that Gnome Dyes Fall add-ons. I'm just going to stick that down onto paper tray ink, dark chocolate cardstock. And the, the little stem is also dark chocolate cardstock. That paper is uh, Doodlebug's Rainbow Petite Prints in gingham linen. That's kind of like a light green color. I'm going to put together this little crow. Um, I'm going to cut the little hands off the background just so I have a spot to put down, put this crow together. There we go. So that is American Crafts black cardstock going over top. And then I'm going to put the little wing on that is cut, a, cut out of Doodlebug's um, Rainbow Petite Prints and Gingham Linen also. It's kind of like a black check. Oh, and sorry. And the little beak and the feet are cut out of orange um, Gingham Linen from Doodlebug, but it's the linen side. I'm just going to add in the little feet. I'm, you see I'm using my Studio Catty embellishment wand and reverse tweezers. I'm just trying to get things lined up. You know, when you're putting together little pieces, um, it's nice to have an extra pair of hands there. There we go. And I'm using my art glitter glue to stick everything down. So like I said, easy peasy stuff. There we are. And there's the little wing I was talking about. We'll add that on with some art glitter glue too. There we are. And then I'm going to add a little eyeball with um, Nouveau Crystal Drops in, in Ebony Black. So I'm just gonna add one to the center and then I'll set that off to the side to dry. There we go, so it's kind of fun, right? Now this is, I left this in just to show you that it didn't work. So I like to add a little white dot to the black eyes, but the problem with that is, is that the black wasn't dry yet. I thought it would still stick 
but I was wrong. So I do come by later and I'll add on that uh, little white highlight with the Simply White. So now here I am putting together another one of these pumpkins. Um, the back layer is from made it of that dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tree Ink. And then the, the um, pattern layer is using the um, gingham linen rainbow petite prints. You'll see that I sort of alternate them so they show up well. And there we go. So there's a little stack of pumpkins to add to the card. Now I'm going to add little stems to little pumpkins from that same Gnome Dyes Fall add-ons. Just adding a little stem in brown, that, that's dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink again, with my art glitter glue. So there we go. So we have a couple of pumpkins there. And now I'm going to start putting together the card. So this is um, my little pumpkins. You'll see that one I added the layers and one I just kept flat. And I cut out of the pattern paper. And I'm just going to stick that under the hill on both sides. These are just sort of background pieces to my card. I'm gonna weight those down. Then I'm going to stick down my fence with this art glitter glue again. And I will weight that down also. So as you see, the grass really doesn't show that much. So I probably could have left out the grass and just put like a slice of green under there, but you know, you, li you live, you learn. So now I'm going to pop up my little gnome with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And I'll also use some art glitter glue because that kind of overlaps the double layer of fence. And you'll see that I have some Stampin' Up Dimensionals in the center of that fence. And there we go. So there's my little gnome, he's sitting on the fence. He's pretty cute. His little feet and beard are made out of American Crafts cardstock. Um, his little nose is a P13 skin tone stamping pad that I got from scrapbook.com. And there we go, trimming off the overhang there. So now I'm building my little scene. So now I'm gonna add my little gourd to the lower right hand side. And I'm gonna have that hanging off the bottom of the card. So um, I will trim off the overhang there in a minute. And I'm going to have a little pumpkin popped up on top of that with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. Um, so I'm just adding lots of dimension to this card. I think it per goes perfect with that sentiment on the inside that says cutest gnome in the patch. So he's sort of sitting in his own little pumpkin patch with a pumpkin hat on, right? And um, that's, that's, like I said, that sentiment from the Happy Fall Gnomey stamp set is just too darn cute for words. There we are. So now I'm adding in my second little pumpkin. And there we go. Isn't that cute? Okay. So now I will cut off the overhang to that little gourd, making sure I don't nick that pumpkin that's sitting that's, you know, on the top of it. And there we go. And now I'm going to add in my little crow. I'm sort of, I'm going to have that sort of sitting on the second layer. trying to figure out where he's going to go but I think I'm going to put him on the second layer of that little pumpkin there we go isn't that cute just so darn cute and now I'm going to be adding in the vines those were all cut out of um, that same doodlebug green card stock and I'm just adding them in you know just for a little bit of extra you know detail on your card right I find that you know the more detail you have more things to look at draw the eye it just makes it look fabulous I think now you'll notice that I leave those two little round pumpkins overhanging the edge of the card that doesn't bother me um, I'm, I actually thought of doing that on purpose so now these are the um, Jada Blossoms banner dies so I cut the back banner out of dark chocolate and then you'll see that I cut out the sentiment pumpkin kisses with the little rectangle piece I sort of lined up the relief piece I cut it out of, out of chocolate first so I could see the how to frame out that sentiment and I was able to cut it and add it um, I did stack up that extra piece that I used making that kind of template to make sure I had my sentiment lined up so that says pumpkin kisses which I think is totally appropriate for this card front with all the pumpkins isn't it cute? So there we go. And look, I'll weight that down just to make sure it looks good. There we go. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to add a few more of these little vines. I love curly vines. I just think these just add so much to the card's detail and overall look, I think. There we go. So today I decided just to do one project, but because it was kind of detailed, I thought it would, it would suffice for the hop. 
So it's just kind of fun. So this was an adorable release. So you're going to want to get your hands on it. Um, this is the first one that actually sold out of the Gotta Get It Now packages on the on Wednesday. I can't believe it. Um, oh, I can believe it. I love it. I, I totally love this release, but it's just, it's it's the first one, first time it's happened. So everything is available a la carte today, so you can shop to your heart's content. And you'll notice that I did add on my little leaves there too. And now I'm going to add in those little white highlights to the eyes. So that's on that little crow. And then I'm going to add the little white highlight on this little crow. See how cute that is? Just adorable. And now I'm adding in the little grass pieces. Those came from the Mushroom House dies. And I'm just using them to kind of, um, you know, add some dimension to the grass and make it look a little bit more, you know, I, I don't want to say real because it's kind of cartoon-like, right? But a little bit more interest, right? So I'm adding those in with some art glitter glue with my reverse tweezers there. There we go. And I just think this turned out so darn cute. I just love it. There we go. Isn't that cute? Just so darn cute. This release is just makes my heart sing because like I told you before, I absolutely love fall. It's just, a, it's a great time for me to, to craft and card make because I love all the fall colors. I don't know, it's just, it's just my favorite time. So there we are. So I'm adding in some Simply White Nouveau Crystal Drops. You're going to want to put these off to the side to dry for a bit. You don't want to, you know, mess them up because that's something that I do. So I try to turn the card to add the little droplets just so I don't mess things up. But that is about it, people. So that's, I'm just adding my last little bit. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, be inspired, go along and do the hop because there is a winner that wins a stamp set every every time. So do that. Um, you know, check out our Instagram. Um, check us out on Facebook on the Jaded Blossom Garden of Creativity. Um, you know, if you buy anything from this, from this uh, release, tag us on social media. We would love to see what you make. And... Um, yeah, that's about it. So and if you're still not sure, go check out my release and review. And then that'll make you make your mind up because it's a, an amazing release. So thank you so much for stopping by. And we will see you soon in my next one. Bye, everyone.